But it's like... Today's Patreon request was submitted by Basil Keen, and he's given me dire straits. I literally know Money For Nothing and Walk Of Life from these guys. Uh, no, Romeo and Juliet as well. They're the three songs that I've heard from this game, categorically say heard before. Uh, this one is called Telegraph Road and it's live at the Hammersmith Odin in London in 1983. I was five years old when this was out. Jesus, I feel old. Anyway, let's check it out. Okay, dire straits, let's go. Oh, that footage looks really old. So relaxing to listen to. <laughs> Get playing. So I've got like a hobo in my head walking down the road with having all his blah, 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 belongings on like a stick and a and a bag like the, the old fashioned days because obviously it's nineteen eighty three and he's going he's going setting up like home in the woods. Why? <laughs> okay, he's painting a very very vivid picture. I've also got that scene in Rambo where they try and make him walk out of town. Well, he drives into the town and said, "You walk that way," because like he said, you know, vagrants. It feels like a homeless person. Bill Kevin and a winter star. He plowed the ground by the cool lake shore. Mm. You're the travelers come walking down the track. They never went further, no. They never went back. Okay. Then came the churches. Then came the schools. Then came the lawyers. Then came. Is he talking about things that are evolving, like cultures and uh, like drugs and like technology progressing and stuff like that? Is that what he was talking about then? Because is this talking about like maybe a man used to live off the land from way way back way before anything was ever invented, and now they're talking about things. Then came this, then came that, then came the train, then you know what I mean? And uh, the, it's like. <laughs> Uh, didn't mean to hit that then. It's like a, it's like a journey through history. It sounds like. Players and rules. The evolution of life, I'm sure. Oh, I'm checking it anyway. No, Mark Knopfler's got a very, very particular way of playing that guitar, and it sounds very, very well. I say it sounds. It sound. It, it's, it's hypnotic. It's, it's drawing me in and making me want to just, just watch him like that. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? His, his guitar playing seems to stand out. Hunters and then there was war. I think there's also pointing out the negative things of, of like evolution and stuff. We invented guns for maybe hunting and stuff, and then now it's for like using them against humans. You know what I mean? It's like, okay. Noticed as well that he do, he doesn't play with a pick or a plectrum, does he? He's, he just he's he's got his thumb on the uh, his pinky on the guitar, like that. and he's just he's, it looks like he's just holding it like like he's he's got hold of it like this. He's, he's got like he's doing all that. It looks like his hands not moving, but it's like you know what I mean. It's a, it's a very very strange. Um, well, I won't say strange actually. It's a very very oh hang on. Unique picking style. I've not seen anyone else hold the, the, the guitar so close and do that with it. You know what I mean? It's uh, different. Nice sounding sound. And my radio says tonight is gonna freeze. We will drive it home from the factories. Now you've got six lanes of traffic Three lanes moving slow <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing worse There's nothing worse than trying to get home from a far away place And you get to hear that traffic on the motorway And there's four lanes, well there's three lanes at the minute um, in the, we, We've got four lane motorways over here now uh, but then it was three lanes and he's saying they're all moving slow And it's nothing worse than trying to get home when you can't freaking drive <laughs> Rant over
You know what? It's nice to see um, actual musicians, different musicians in a band. I mean, a lot of the time you get a rock band and it's just like pure out rock and nothing else. But when you see them like in this sort of vein, that, that guitar playing was absolutely beautiful. It could have, been, fit, could have fit into like five or, five or six different genres, not just like this, uh, I suppose, soft rock that Dire Straits do. But I mean, his playing and the solo, soloing like in front of the crowd and like that, and like obviously Martin Offer taking a back seat while he does it, it's, it's just, you know, it's good, it's different, it puts on the show, doesn't it? It's, it's nice. Nice. It's like to go to work, but I shut it all down. I got a right to go to work, no work here to be found yet. Let me see, we're gonna have to pay what's owed. We're gonna have to pay. They reap from the sea their soul. When all the birds are upon the wires and upon the poles, they can always get out of this rain and this cold. And you can hear them singing out their telegraph code all the way down the telegraph road. And he's talking about like uh, the, the, like the the lack of jobs at the time. And uh, people struggling for work, and like when he said they shut them all down, that meant shutting factories or shutting like um, working class um, establishments down, if you like. Because I know there was a big thing in the I was I think it was the eighties where like everyone used to go on strike and stuff, and there's unions and all that crap. But I was too young to understand it. Is this is this what he's talking about here? Like things being shut down and what have you. I don't. I love the fact he's got bright red boots on me. <laughs> he's, he's got like jeans and a t-shirt and and bright red boots. He's ballsy that. I'd soon I'll forget, but I remember those nights. Nice. Yeah, life was just a bet on a race. Between the lights, you had your head on my shoulder, and your hand in my hair. Now you act a little cold, like you don't seem to care. But just believe in me, baby, and I get you away from Oh, I like it. The way the way Mark sings, it's like, is he singing? Is he talking? <laughs> is he stalking? Sing talking. Stalking is probably not the best way to say it. But he feels like he's, I don't know what it is. It, it feels like he's telling you a story and not singing the story. But then at the same time, he is singing. So I don't know whether he's singing or talking. Oh, it's somewhere in between. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm getting like. I'm going to a different place here, answer. I love the way it keeps going intimate, just like minimal instruments and like Mark singing or just like the piano or whatever. And then it comes back in all full again. It, it's good. It's keeping it very, very, it's chopping it up and making it very, very um, interesting. Play! <laughs> Down the telegraph room. Wow. Why 
is that technique? smashed his keyboard to pieces. I don't ever pause a solo, but this has been going on for ages. Look how this piano player smashes his keyboards. <laughs> little cloudburst at the end when he banged his guitar on his knee <laughs> I mean all for the show I mean all the musicians came together at one one at the end everything was the drummer was hitting everything like 100 miles an hour the, the keyboard was doing all that and then ba 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 like he was hitting the bongos uh, Mark was flying away on the guitar I mean the whole thing especially the, the technique that Mark uses in these on these uh, on, in this performance like was it, I feel like it's signature guitar playing and I feel like this was an iconic performance or an iconic song that I have never heard. But I'm really impressed with what I've just seen. And it's the first time really taking, like, checking out Dire Straits and taking them like taking it in what they do. I mean, I'd like to say I've done them, them mainstream songs that I've, I've heard before. You know, they would I've heard them, and I just thought they were that sort of sound. But this is like I don't know. It was it, this is different than what I'm used to hearing from this band. So I'm uh, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, quite like that. Hmm, is there any more Dire Straits you guys want to listen to? Let me know in the comments and I'll get them on the channel. Anyway, if you like this video, then please hit like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out this original video. And what did you think? I think I've got it all mixed up there. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.